Hello and in this ADI part 3 training video I'm going to be delivering the PDI's very first part 3 training session. He's just passed his part 2 exam and he's almost completed the skills section of the part 3 online training course or DIT kit as I like to call it. In this first activity, we're going to be looking at practicing giving root directions using the ADI method, so the same method that the examiners use during a driving test. I've indicated on screen how he's doing and watch to the end because I'll be giving him some feedback. If you would like to enrol on this online driving instructor training course, then just go to the description and you can get access to all three parts. So I've covered part one, part two and part three. And the idea is you can study from the comfort of your own home before getting in car with your trainer. So wherever you live, complete the course. That'll give you all, you all the activities that you can go and prepare and practice. And then you can just get out in car with your trainer and, and do similar to what you're about to see in this video. So I hope you enjoy it and see you at the end for the debrief. Let's look at this thing. All right, so Jeremy, Jeremy, let's just put it into context. So, well done. Thank you. I'm passing your part <laughs> two. Good job. So, um, so now this is our first session on part three. How are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> nervous. <laughs> well, you don't need to be nervous because. Yeah, we've got 40 hours together oh, and we're good. just going to work and chip our way through it step by step. And um, like Nelson Mandela said, like, how do you eat an elephant? Do you know that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> one bite at a time. Right, okay, so just good. Small bits. And as we've already had a chat, today we're going to sort of just introduce part three, some of the, the basic skills. Yeah. So we said we're going to look at giving route directions. Thinking about practice areas as well we'll look at today. And then we're going to have a go. You'll have a go, a go later on to have a go at the dual controls. Yeah. So there's a little activity we'll do around that, which we'll explain at the time. So you don't, just mentioning that, by the way, there's don't dual controls down there. <laughs> you, for this activity now, you will not need to use right. them. Okay. So just be aware that they're there and be careful. <laughs> okay, so... um. So we'll, you'll, you'll have a go at those later, and yep. then we'll do a little activity where you um, give me some instructions. Because just think, like, what does a driving instructor do mainly in their day? Yeah. You know, if you were to watch one at work, they tend to give people directions, they give them instructions. Yeah. If they're going wrong, they jump they on the that. old pedals, <laughs> and they think about, like, the areas that they should be practising Yeah. In. So that's what we're doing. We're going to introduce those and we're going to start with a little activity that just looks at route directions. And we've just been talking that you've worked through your part three dick kit. Yes. And you're on, you've done the skills, the 14, yeah. well, you've done 13, 13 of the skills videos. Yep. Well done. <laughs> and we're just going to be starting, we're not going to do all those today, no. so, by the way, but we're going to work <laughs> through the activities. And um, so that so you've been, you've gone away, you've prepared, you've you've been sending me messages and yes. asking me questions and things. So so now we're going to have a go at doing it. So the first activity we're going to do is just to sort of ease you into it and just get you to give me some route directions, the same way the examiners would do using the method. Right. Right. Do you know what the method is? Can you think? How they do that, how they structure their root directions. Um, There's three little layers. Yeah. Um, you want to be one of them. <laughs> Instruct. <laughs> you want to be, what's the, what, three letters that describe a driving instructor? Uh, when you qualify, you become a ADI. ADI. So you think ADI. Yeah. There's three words. Is it assess? Direct yeah. and instruct. Nearly. Nearly. Alert. Alert. Howard at the roundabout. Yeah. Then you direct me. Yeah. Give me my direction. And then, what was the, the, what did you say the I was? Instruct. Identify. Identify. So they might need an identifier. Let's say you're going to get me to turn left, and it's behind a bus stop and we can't see it. Yeah. 
So you might say, Howard, I'd like to say the next road on the left is just after right. that bus stop. Yeah. For example. So just making it easier for them to... Yeah, to, to spot it out. So if you were... Uh, actually, if I just showed you a picture of a roundabout just to get you back in the groove. <laughs> Let's... Um, like that so if you if without me if you look at that diagram of a roundabout if you wanted me to go to here yeah and we're approaching from here what would you what would be the direction using ADI okay how at the roundabout uh, I'd like you to take the right turn which would be the third exit using the right hand lane oh that's an instruction Using the right hand um, lane, I should know that. Right. So in terms of just the, because what we're going to get to do is in a minute is just direct. Just me. direct. So all you'd need to say there is Howard, at the roundabout. Yep. You've alerted me. Yep. Turn right. Directed me, and then if you wanted to, you could include the third exit. Right. You don't really need to add that because there's only one right. There's only one right. Yeah. If there were, like, the hearts is roundabout, yeah. we've got two rights. If you just said to me, Howard, at the roundabout, turn right, I'd be like, um... Which one? Which one? <laughs> and you'll be like, hmm, oh yeah. Oh, sorry, the third one. Right. So then I would need that information, that yeah. identifier. So you wouldn't, on that, you wouldn't need it, it would just be turn yeah. right. Less is more with directions. Right. Yeah. So at the roundabout, if you was going to go here, what would you say? At the roundabout, straight over. Oh, straight over. Mm. What if it's a mini roundabout and I took you literally? Yeah. I'd go straight. Go <laughs> straight I'm going on, in. it? Yeah. I say you said so. <laughs> go straight. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, what would be a better way to. Um... Um, ahead at the roundabout, second exit. All we'd say is at the roundabout. Yeah. Follow the road ahead. Ah. Uh -huh. Follow the road ahead. Right. I see. So we avoid straight over. Could Just, be confused. Yeah. Follow the road ahead tends to work because sometimes the ahead might be slightly off right. centre. It might be slightly yeah. over at eleven o'clock. It could be at one o'clock. But generally, there's a thicker line, isn't there? Yeah. So you could say follow the road ahead if it isn't ahead. And if you were going left, what would you say to me? At the roundabout, take the left. That's it. Turn left. Yeah. Turn left. Turn, turn left. left. Done. Don't need to say first exit. No. You can if you want. Yeah. If you really, if you really want it, but you don't have to. No. I'd, it'd be clear to me where to go. So it's just keep it short and precise. Keep it simple. Yeah. Kiss. That's what you want to do. So that, that's a little warm up. So we've, you've had a look at the activity, which yeah. I'm just going to remind ourselves what. It is. <laughs> so, so let me just open that up. So this is from the, the skills section on giving route directions. So this yep. is just looking at that here. So let's just scroll down to the activity. So in car activity to practice with your trainer. So plan a 10 minute route for test standard people. Yeah. So I'm test standard. Right. I don't need any lessons at this moment. I just need to know where I'm going. Okay. And the route should be challenging with plenty of left and right turns on a variety of road and traffic conditions. Yep. So just mix it up. Yep. So you've planned a route, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll assess how your route is, where, what, yep. we, what we think of that. Um, use the ADI method to direct me, yep. which we've just talked about. So you're going to use the same method that the examiners use. Um, the route should finish at any location where you can pull up on the left. So after 10 minutes, just get me to pull up on the left. Okay. You don't have to come back here. No. Nope. It's not like it has to go round a circuit and finish here. Finish where you like. After 10 minutes, just get me to pull up somewhere safe. Yep. And ask ask me to do that. Okay. And then, the, here you go. Your, your trainer will play the role of your student and will not <laughs> make any faults. Okay. So I'm not here to trick you and yep. put faults in. Because I, I, I'm, if I was to do my test, I want to get zero faults. Yeah. That's the idea. So if I do actually make a mistake, which, you know, no one's perfect, it's not intended. Right, okay. So I'm going to do my absolute 
best to not make a mistake. So, so I'll be more nervous than you now, because I've, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to get this like tippity top. <laughs> I've got to put in a zero fault performance. Right. Okay. And um, and then and then just the other point here, you do not need to give me any instructions because I'm test standard. Yeah. So, it's, so you wouldn't need to say get in the right lane. I'd be like, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? That's a bit over, over instruction. So yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna do. Right. Clear, clear as muds. Yes. How are you feeling? Uh, not as nervous <laughs> as Good. Wise, yeah. Good. And so once we've done that, once we've done our ten minutes, then we'll pull up and then we'll um we'll discuss, we'll give you feedback on how your route was. Yeah. When, was it challenging? How you gave me directions? Was I confused? Did you give them to me on good in good time? Right. So in role, because I'm this is our first ever role play now. I'm going to play the role of this pupil who was test standard. Yeah. So I'm going to stay in role throughout it. So if I'm confused, I'll really let you know. I'll be like, "What? What? Sorry, where am I going?" If it's late, you know, I'll be like, "Oh, what here?" Yeah. Okay. So you think, okay, yeah, that was late. Give them a bit more time, yeah. If it's too early, I'll be signalling well early. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Where's the turn? You know. So you'll kind of, you'll get feedback from me. Brilliant. In the in role. So I'll be very, a very obvious. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be particularly, what's the word, uh, polite. Yeah, I'm going to let you know what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, I've got no filter. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm used to that. I'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Like, that is, you know, so you're you're you know how I'm feeling. Yeah. And that. So um, so yeah. So should we do it? Yeah. So um, so you have got your little mirror. There. Yeah. So you by all means adjust that and um, have that so you can be aware of what's going on around you. But like I said, I'm not going to put in any faults. You will not need to use the dual controls. Good. Because <laughs> yeah. I've never used it. Yeah, that will come later. We're going to have a go at that later. So, right. are you happy to um, uh, think about when you did your part two? Think about what the examiner said at the start. Right. See if you can remember and then get me going. So, shall I go in roll now? Should we start? Uh, yeah. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So, and just relax. You know, you are allowed to make mistakes. Good. Right. This is lesson one. Yeah. That I can make. So, mistakes. make mistakes. Because, yeah, it, giving directions is not as straightforward as No, this is the seems. bit I've been worried about, actually, because I've gone out with my daughter. Um, and she said, you need to be a bit clearer. Oh, she, given the, oh there you go. Yeah. So she's got no filter then? No, she's got no filter. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Okay. So Let's do it then. So right, I'm, I'm in roll, I'm test standard people. Yep. I'm going to go for a 10 minute drive. I'm not on my test, we're just going to go for a 10 minute drive. Okay. And you're kind of assessing, sort of seeing where I am. Okay. But I don't want any feedback about my drive because that's not what it's about. It's all about you just give me directions on your little on your little route. Yep. That you planned. All right. Okay. So uh, if, when I'm in roll, I go like I'm in roll like a curtain coming down. Yep. Out okay. of roll, so you kind of know. But I'll tell you if I'm in roll, out of roll. So okay. I'm in roll. Brilliant. Right. Okay. So what we'll do um, ahead at all times. Unless I tell you otherwise. Okay. Um, yeah. When you're ready, um, we'll make our way down to the roundabout at the end from here. Um, so it's left and then right there. What, left here then? Yeah, right? left, okay. I pull away left and, and then, then there's a follow roundabout. it. Okay, yeah. So I start my engine? Yep, yeah, stop when you're ready, start your engine.
at the end oh, of yeah, the road. And then right at the end of this road. Right at the end? Yes. At the junction. Yeah, yeah. Just pull up on the left, we're done. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> it's like yeah. I timed that. Yeah. Exit was that one? 
third exit. Okay. So I'm switched off. Go to the end of the road, turn left, and we'll okay. pull into the car park. Okay. What, to the left? Yeah, yeah so left at the end of the road. Yeah. Go through the base. Okay. Perfect. Can I turn the engine off? Or yes, sorry, yeah, turn the, okay. turn the engine off. Yep. The end. <laughs> 
<laughs> Out of roll. I'm glad I got that over and done with. Good. Right. So how did that feel? First little role play on camera. Yeah. Surprised with that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit extra. Like, what? What? You want to record it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so apologies for that. So um, yeah, how did you feel? At least you can watch it back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 good. It's just I think it's like you say, being a bit. I could see a couple of times where you were so left, just being a little bit more yeah. precise. So the mini roundabout, the first mini roundabout, you said ahead. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, because yeah, because it went left or right. Yeah, that's it. So that's like local knowledge. Yeah. So if if the left, if the first exit, because it is sort of a head, if that was marked with an head arrow, then it is a head. Then you would just you yeah. say, follow the road ahead. But um, it was a left or a right. Because it's arrow. marked left and right. So then. It, it would be left at the roundabout. It, it would be as as it's marked. Right. So, okay. Um, so there you go. So I was a little bit confused yeah. on that one. Confused. So too. let's give, let's give you a bit of feedback. Like the route. I yeah. like I like the route. Right. Good. It, it would have lasted about ten minutes if I yeah. didn't think it stuck twice about <laughs> set of lights. <laughs> of traffic lights. I reckon, I reckon we were a couple of minutes over what yeah. we said. Um, it was challenging. Yes. Yeah, when you took me past that school. Yeah. And it was all the parked cars on the bends. That the was bends. that was was good. Then then those too many roundabouts. Yeah. So as you mentioned those many roundabouts. So how did you feel about the direction of the first one? Once I'd gone past the At the first one it, it kind of again it kind of took me by surprise and then I suddenly thought, I've got to give direction. Got it. And it didn't help that the sign had been twisted over, so you, you wouldn't have seen. Yeah, it, it was a. So that one was a little bit late. Yeah. So I've been confused once. Confused and I've once. Been, oh, a bit late. Yeah. On one, um, on that one. So sometimes what you need to do, yeah, like with the local knowledge and knowing your areas, your practice areas, just keep. You'd be giving that direction before we can even see it. Yeah. So you'd be like Howard. Just after this bends, at the roundabout, yeah. follow the road ahead. Follow the road ahead, yeah. If it is going to come up, just... Yeah, because it does, actually thinking about it, it comes quite quickly on the bend, yeah. so, yeah. You know the, the first one we talked about with the left-right thing? Yeah. The railway bridge? Yeah. What examiners say there, they'll say, OK, Howard, just after the railway bridge, or just after this bridge, at the mini roundabout, turn left. Turn left. So they kind of give it... To, to you before you're getting to yeah. the, going under that bridge. I did think because about saying that under the railway bit. bridge and I thought, am I yeah. going to over-egg the pudding by saying that? But, you know, so that's where, how they do it. They get a little bit earlier. Yeah. Just to give me a bit of heads up. Because if it's busy and the, there's queuing, you can't see the, cars the queuing in both lanes, yeah. I need to kind of make a decision. Um, and, of course, by the time I see that yeah. and you've said it, it can then be a bit on, yeah. It can be like, yeah. oh, what, oh, I'm in the wrong lane and I need yeah. to try and change lane. So that's why they, they, they're they anticipating it could be busy. Yeah. And so they get that out nice and early. So I'm ready. How did you feel about the Hartsies roundabout, the Chroma exit roundabout? The Chroma exit. How did, how, did, how, did, how did you feel with that one? I think I, I feel I should have given you more notice to turn right and that it was the third exit. Because, as we said before, there's more than one exit. Yes. Yeah. So you went from using ADI, yeah. Alert Direct Identify, yeah. to, to giving me following signs. Yeah. So you kind of changed your strategy on direction. Yeah. So if you're going to follow signs, you just need to say follow follow signs. Just, follow just say signs. Howard's. Follow, yeah, if you just, could have given me that earlier, Howard, yeah, we're following, I'd like to follow signs to Chroma, just keep following those signs yeah. until I say otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, I kind and of And then it'll be it my job there. to look at the sign, think, oh, where's Chroma, and work out where to go. Right, OK. So you've kind of mixed it, you've gone out the yeah. roundabout, turn right, Chroma. 
it's because it, it that was because as we came to it you've got to get back into the yeah. you're in this seat and it's like it. yeah whoops now i've got to try and help him to get around that roundabout it would have been okay if you said at the roundabout howard at the roundabout turn right is the third exit signposted to chroma oh i see but Fair because right. i said follow because you said chroma you're yeah, when you watched this back, I went, oh, um, oh yeah. I've missed it. Yeah. Where, soon was as you that? Said, Where was it? Where was it? Yeah, as soon as you said that, I thought, no, I shouldn't have said that. Because I have to act. Yeah. I mean, I know where it is, obviously. Yeah. But because it's a bit late, and you've not given me a lot of time to look at the sign and process. Yeah, there's a lot going I've on. And then I've gone, oh, where was that? And yeah. then you've had to sort of say, well, then I said, well, what exit is it? Yeah. So when you watch that back, you, that's why I was doing that. I was yeah, like, brilliant. I didn't get an exit. Yeah. <laughs> you said. You yeah. said. <laughs> and that, is, so good that you've incorporated that roundabout into the route, because that's a challenging one to give directions Yes. On. So there you go. You give that earlier. Use the ADI or follow signs to Cromer. Yeah. But if you're going to change tacts, you should agree you have that to tell them the that what you've, said. yeah. Like, how do I, like, you know, I to follow some signs now. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah. What I'm going to get to see now is to follow signs to Chroma, have a look out, and then just keep following those signs until I say otherwise. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay. Like say so the examiner did do that. I'd like you to follow signs now, and then it's. And then what happens when he finished with that bit? Did he tell you he's finished? With yes, that he says we're finished. And, and I'm going to give you directions as normal. That's it. Yeah. So there's clearly a clear communication. So you know there's a cut off point. We've stopped doing that. We're now doing that. Brilliant. Yeah. And. What instructors do, they drift in and out of that yeah. without agreeing to the pupil, so it's muddled. And that just, when it comes to part three time, the examiner's going to be like, What are you doing? <laughs> you didn't agree that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that. And at the start, follow the road ahead, you said. Follow the road ahead. Yes. Which we would have gone straight into the wall. If you yeah, know. so there's a little bit more to that. So follow the road ahead unless signs or road markings. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if I need you to turn, I'll let you know in plenty of time. time. Yeah. All these little scripts, because like day one, they'll start to go in. We're going to keep yeah. reinforcing that. As you go through this, we're going to keep pushing that, and then they'll be in. They'll be like, Just coming, got yeah. This, got this, this is what we're doing. That's what I'm saying. Sort of say it without thinking. Little things like at the end, like I, at the start, I mean, I said, Can I start my engine? Yeah. So when when you did your test, he would have said, Right, when you're ready, you can start. So your can, yeah. And at the end of the test, he would have said, Right, turn your engine off. Yeah. To make the car safe and turn the engine That's off. Or just, yeah. So, um, just those little things. I know I'm not on a test. We wasn't. I wasn't yeah, no, expecting you to give me the, the test thing. You'd like, you wouldn't have to say oh, that's the end of the test because we weren't on a test. No. But you wouldn't just say, turn your engine off, test, turn your engine off. Yep. And then it's like, I do that. And then it's like, right, we'll have a chat. Now we can have a chat. Yep. And do that. So um, another, another thing. Yeah. Because as you go through this, you can scrutinise this. When you ask me to pull up on the left in a safe place, how achievable was that? That wasn't really achievable. That was that was going to be hard for me yeah. to do, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, yeah. So you've given me an impossible task. Yep. No, something unachievable, that, yeah. something that you wouldn't have been able to do. Yeah. So again, well, what would be the, how would you, how, what, is, was that your intention of where you was going to pull me up or did the plan in your mind change it changed a little bit because of the time constraints it was like oh, we right. need to pull and that's why I thought well, it's safer to come in here because it's yeah so there you've adapted yeah you thought do you know what that's no good right what we do we're going to car park yeah do that but it probably would have been better not to say pull up on the left just say yeah get to the, at the end of the road turn left that's bring it. him into the car park without and then once we got in the car park I was then give me more information yeah like what am I doing? Am I, what do you want me to do? Reversing, driving? Can I go through the bays? Yeah. So you're in control of that. You can sort of say, Howard, just drive forwards into a bay of your choice. Yep. And on this occasion, I don't, I don't mind if you drive forwards through the bays. Yep. Make it easier to get out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, okay. So be more. I'll be like, oh, yeah, try and finish between the lines. Yeah. That's what that sounds has. Yeah. But that's, that's, you're going to start learning that. And a good place for you to look 
for this information, or you might better tell me, where would, could you find what the examiners say, their little scripts, their little, how they give directions, how they give the briefings, like for the emergency stop or a parking manoeuvre, where, where could you find that information? Is that the AD1? ADI1. ADI1. And also, the better, better place, they've got a new document now, is how to conduct a mock test for your pupils. Right. Or conducting a mock test for your pupils. In that, that's a nice sort of user-friendly guide, and they have like little shaded out blocks where they have the, the script, the words. Right, okay. That they use. So that's quite good. Yeah. That's like pretty handy, actually. Great. Right. Okay, so we've done a little bit of route directions. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to I'm going to take you to another location to do the next activity because there's a certain place I need to be in to do that. Right. Okay. Happy. Yep. Yep. I mean, I can leave them rolling if you like. It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. That it, it would probably you know, help. We might get some bloody gold on here. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, I'm going to bugger off.